Hey everyone, it's been a little while since I've done one of my training check-ins, so figured I'd update everybody on how training is going and um, where I'm at in my program. Um, today is a 15 mile run and I've got one tomorrow. The training program that I'm on is, um, it's like a cyclical training program where you build up and up and up and up and then taper down a little bit and then build up and up and up again, a little bit higher and then taper down. And this weekend I believe is the last of those lulls. So from here on, um, I'm only 42 days out of the race. So it's happening pretty soon. Um, so this is the last short weekend before I build up to next weekend. I'll have a 20 mile Saturday and a 20 mile Sunday. And then after that, it'll probably be like a 25, 15, then a 30, 20, something like that. The weekdays are pretty much the same all throughout. Um, anywhere from four to eight miles a day, adding up to about 20 or 30 miles throughout the weekdays. Um, so that's where I'm at in the training program. Uh, like I said, it's happening pretty soon, so I'm excited. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling confident. I did some number crunching, and um, I'll make another video showing you the spreadsheet surprise that I made for um, how I'm going to pace myself through the next race um, and the way it's going to work out in theory is that I'll have a slower pace than I started on the Daytona 100 and then it'll help me keep some energy in the tank and um, hopefully carry that same pace um, with like minimal fall off through the whole race. Um, so in theory, by going slower, I'll finish faster. Um, so, um, lost my train of thought. Uh, downfall of trying to do this whenever I'm running. Um, so that's my training, my nutrition, uh, some lessons that I learned from the Daytona 100. Um, I think, one of the main things, it was a little combination of my nutrition uh, plan that failed me, is that I think I severely overestimated how many calories I would need. So I ate a lot of food at the beginning, and a lot of that food that I ate was sandwiches. And that gave me not only more calories, like more, more actual mass in my insides, uh, more than they could handle. It was too much and it was also very calorically dense and not very nutrient dense food, which is what I really need. Bread, it's good, um, done properly, but it's really just a vessel for carbs and sugar it doesn't really give you a whole lot of what you need so um, not just in my training I've incorporated a new uh, nutrition plan into my daily life to get my body used to it I'm cutting out or I have cut out almost all processed carbs um, during the week and I might treat myself a little bit have a sandwich or something um, on the weekends but Primarily, the carbs that I'm getting during weekdays is fruit, vegetables, nuts, um, and at night I'll have some rice with my dinner, or plantains, potatoes, real more natural carbs. And I can tell a big difference just in my day-to-day -day life. I'm not inflated like a balloon like I used to be, I'm not all bloated and gassy. And it seems to be working pretty well. And today on my midway snack, instead of something sugary or um, processed, I just had a bag of 
a little simple trail mix that I made of peanuts and um, and craisins and it's actually pretty nice because whenever you chew it all up together it tastes just like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich but without all the farting so that's nice um, so that's nutrition and one of the reasons I wanted to do this video today particularly is because I've been having a hard time getting back into the training routine. I like this group, um, this Facebook group, because I can be accountable to you. And um, accountability only works with you when you're honest. And so to be honest, I've been screwing off quite a bit on the weekends and not getting in my long runs. And um, I'm kind of disappointed in myself because I really should be doing it. I took that month off after the Daytona 100 and I got kind of lazy and it's really hard to get back into a, a training routine um, when you take that much time off. And um, so I'm really working on that, um, making sure I get in all of my runs. And lately I've been doing a lot of two-a-day runs too. Um, I'll do my prescribed run in the morning or at lunchtime and then at night I'll I'll do like another little 5k or something or do a little 10k route that I like to do um, just because the scenery is nice um, just for a nice view get some fresh air and one of the things that's helped me recently in the last couple weeks is that I got a, um, a deep tissue massage, which I didn't realize how badly I needed it. I knew I needed it after the Daytona 100 because I was kind of stiff and I could feel myself walking kind of funny, like my posture was kind of off. So, and I had some little nagging soreness here and there. So I knew I needed something and I made an appointment. Um, I'll go ahead and plug her right now, um, Angie at, um, at All Bodies Massage. She brought me in and before she started going to work on me, she checked out how my hips and my shoulders lined up and it was a lot worse than I thought. My hips were all wonky one way, my shoulders were wonky the other way, my IT bands were just bound up like a bundled up rubber band and um, part of the downfall, or one of the downfalls of long distance running is that I wasn't doing a whole lot of stretching and long distance running, it's the same small movements over and over. So you don't really use a whole range of motion. And if you don't stretch, your muscles just get more and more contracted and that muscle memory kicks in and they stay contracted. At least that's what, what what happened in my case. So Angie did a really good job. It hurt like hell, but I, I knew it was gonna hurt and it was a good hurt. Uh, she did a really good job. So I do recommend anybody go to Angie at All Bodies. I uh, really appreciated what she did. And she also taught me some good stretches that I've been doing to, I don't know, give my muscles a new muscle memory. I don't know exactly how that works but sounds good to me so I'm stretching more um, so like I said 42 more days until the race and I've been kicking up my training a little bit digging down and getting out there when I don't really feel like it and I'm starting to feel better uh, physically and mentally uh, it's a really good motivator whenever you kind of kick your own ass into gear and um, get your training done. I know I just feel a whole lot better when I'm done with it. So thank you for listening to me. I, I really needed this accountability check-in to kind of air out my issues. And uh, I appreciate everybody's support. And um, I'll probably be doing another video or two here and there on the weekends. Um, I'm going to get back to running because it's about to rain, I think, and I will check in with everybody later. Thanks.